Today is World Oceans Day. It's a yearly reminder of the impact that humans are having on the ocean, which provides half of all the oxygen we breathe. In tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Ben Tracy is on the Atlantic for a unique race that's part sailing and part science. So we're going to hit speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. A ride on this 60-foot racing sailboat feels more like a rocket ship on the water. Then allow it to whoa, go like this. <laughs> we got to oh achieve God, these crazy amazing. speeds. Oh, we're going fast now. Oh, yeah. Charlie Enright is the skipper of the 11th hour racing team, one of five boats in a grueling six-month, 36,000-mile race around the world. You have to be more than just a sailor. <laughs> you know, I think that that part's appealing to me. You're a sailor, but also like a survivalist. You know, it's not like we have an issue out there we can just call AAA. Alone in the middle of the ocean, they've had to fix everything from torn sails to busted rudders, while also being citizen scientists. One degree south. Their boats are equipped with high-tech tools to gather data on the health of the waters they pass through in some of the most remote places on Earth. They are actually going to the Southern Ocean, um, and this is a really important area where we're lacking a lot of scientific data. Lucy Hunt is a science advisor for the ocean race. And this is their ocean pack. She says the boats take temperature, oxygen, and carbon dioxide readings. Scientists around the world use this information to study how the oceans are responding to climate change, as they absorb 90% of the excess heat created by planet warming fossil fuel emissions. They've also detected microplastics in nearly every sample taken on the race. We are looking at the second of two NOAA drifter buoys. In the Southern Ocean, 11th hour racing deployed two U.S. government buoys that will help improve weather forecasting and even track hurricanes. Stand by, guys. Charlie Enright wants to win the race, but also protect the vast blue seas that make up 70% of the planet we call home. That's the important part, trying to find answers to these complicated problems. For Ion America, Ben Tracy, Newport, Rhode Island.